In this video, I will show you the easiest way to add appointment booking to your chatbots. Let's see this in action. When I open the chat window, we can tell the bot, I would like to schedule an appointment. And if I press enter, we will receive this one-time link that we can use to schedule an appointment using Calendly. And also take note that the system will also ask the user to make payment before the booking is confirmed. So let's go ahead and build this solution. From the Flowwise dashboard, click on Add New. Then click on Add Nodes, Agents, and then add the OpenAI agent to the canvas. Let's create our agent by clicking on Select Agent, and then click on Create New. Give your agent a name, like booking agent demo. If you want, you can give your assistant a description. For the model, I'll select GPT-4-1106 preview. Then under credentials, create a new credential or select one of your existing credentials. I'll just select one of my existing credentials. For the assistant instructions, I'll simply say, you are a customer support agent. When asked to schedule an appointment, meeting or consultation, use the add meeting tool. We will create this tool in a minute. I'm actually going to copy the name of this tool in the meantime. If you wanted this bot to answer questions about the business, you can simply upload your knowledge base files over here. But since we're only focusing on the booking agent part of this, I'll simply skip this step. But if you do want to see this retrieval functionality in action in combination with custom tools, then definitely check out my previous video over here. Let's click on Add. Next, let's go ahead and add this custom tool. Let's click on Add Nodes, then go to Tools. Under Tools, add the custom tool node to the canvas and connect it to your assistant. Under Select Tool, click on the drop down and then click on Create New. And let's paste in that tool name. For the tool description, add something like Use this tool when asked to schedule meetings and consultations. Scrolling down, we can leave the output schema blank and within the JavaScript function, click on See Example. Let's simply leave the code like this. We will fix this in a second. Click on Add. Let's save our chat flow, give it a name. I'll just call mine Customer Chatbot and let's save this. In the chat, let's send the message like Hello, just to see if the bot is working. And we do get a response back. Let's also say, I want to schedule a consultation session and let's press enter. And this should use the add meeting tool, which it does. But at the moment, it's using that sample weather logic, which we will delete in a second. Next, go to Calendly and create your account. By default, Calendly will give us this 30 minute meeting event, but we can create our own by going to create event type. I'll just select one on one with myself as the host. For the event type name, I will just call this AI consultation with a duration of 60 minutes. And for the location, I'm going to click on this drop down and select Google Meet. Let's click on continue. Now we can make additional changes to this event. For instance, we can set the available days and hours. And under booking page options, we can set additional information, like the questions that we want to ask the user in preparation for the meeting. And we can also request payment by clicking on collect payment. This will allow you to integrate currently with Stripe or PayPal. And we can also set an amount for this session, like 20 USD. And this means that this appointment will only be confirmed if the payment is made up front. Let's click on save and close. And let's click on done. You should now see your new event type in this list. So now what we want to do is whenever someone asks the assistant to schedule a meeting, the assistant will respond with a once off link that the user can use to make an appointment on Calendly. The easiest solution I found for integrating Flowwise with currently is make.com. So go over to make.com and sign into your account. On the left hand side, click on scenarios and then click on create new scenario. Then click on this button in the middle of the page and then search for webhooks and then click on webhooks. Then click on custom webhook. Add a new webhook by clicking on add. Give your webhook a name like Flowwise, Calendly, and let's save this. Make.com is now listening for an initial call to this endpoint. Click on Copy Address to Clipboard, then let's go back to Flowwise. Let's go back to the dashboard, click on Tools, then 
add meeting, scroll down to the code, then replace this weather API with the link that we just copied. And let's make two small changes to this code. Let's rename text to data and let's change response.text to response.json. And lastly, let's return data like so. Go ahead and save this tool. Then go back to the chat flow and customer chatbot and let's test this again. Let's clear this chat so that we can start over and let's ask, I want to book a consultation. And we can see that the add meeting tool was indeed called. And if we go back to make.com, we can now see this text over here saying successfully determined. If for some reason this did not happen for you, it's very possible that you need to restart Flowwise and it should work then. Let's click on OK. Next, click on Add, then search for Calendly and then click on Create a Scheduling Link. Now we need to create a connection between Make.com and Calendly. So click on Add, give it a name, I'll just call mine Flowwise Calendly again, save, and this will ask us to confirm this connection. Let's set the maximum event count as one, and for the event type, let's select the AI consultation event that we created and click on OK. You will notice that if we run this module by itself, this module will give us a response and in the response, we can see this booking URL. If I go ahead and copy this and open it in the browser, we are able to continue with the booking. So we need to take this URL and somehow pass that back to Flowwise. And that is very easy. From Calendly, let's add another module Module, click on webhooks, webhook response, and in the body of this webhook response, we need to pass back a JSON structure. So we can do that by passing an opening square braces and closing square braces. Then we can have a value called URL, booking URL, colon, and in quotes, we can add this booking URL. So it should look something like this. And let's click on OK. Now let's test this by clicking on run once. Make.com is now listening for a request from Flowwise. So back in Flowwise, let's make one small change to the tool. So let's go to add meeting and let's add booking URL at the end of data and say, let's go back to our chat flow and let's test this. In the chat, let's say, I would like to book an appointment and let's send this. If we go back to make.com while this is running, we can see that each of those steps were successful. They are all green. And if we look at the response, this is the URL that we got back from make. Now let's go back to Flowwise. And now in Flowwise, we can see that the add meeting tool was called with that same output. And we can now click on this link to schedule our appointment. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel and please like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.